Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This one is going to be a styling video. It's going to be how to style this polka dot ruffle tiered skirt that I got from Boohoo sometime last year, or maybe the year before. It must have been sometime, I think it was early last year. Um, I've never properly worn it out because I feel like whatever I style it with, I think I mentioned in the video before, but whatever I style it with, um, I feel like it looks a bit costumey, but I absolutely love it and I just want to try and put some outfits together and then get your guys opinion and you can rate and comment below on which is your favourite and whether I should keep it or not. I really want to keep it because I really, really, really love it. So um, yeah, I'm going to put on a couple of outfits, style this skirt up and just leave me comments down below on um, what are your favourites? You have to bear with me because I'm doing this on a very hot day. So I've got my drink here to try and keep me cool. I've got a fan next to me, but I've not put it on because I know it's just going to whirl and pick up noise on here for you. But, oh my god, it is super warm. So I'm going to try and film this for myself as quickly as possible. And you have to excuse that the hair is a little bit extra fluffy and crazy because being a girl with curly hair humidity does crazy things to your hair it just goes just goes super extra fluffy so please bear with the hair i'm sure by the end of the video it will probably get bigger and bigger and bigger but um yeah we shall see how the hair looks but yeah i'll get on with the try on so let's see how i can style this skirt I have to say for the purposes of this video I don't know why I picked a hot day because <laughs> it's been raining the last couple of days and it was fine and now I'm a hot and bothered and this is just outfit number one. <laughs> oh my goodness what I picked today again I feel like my hair's gonna get bigger by the end of it for sure anyway we carry on here is um number one I have gone for I will pan down and step back to show you properly but I've got on this light blue denim shirt this is old from new look and i've got a black um sleepwear bralette i think it is from this side i'm gonna use the left hand um sleepwear bralette from Primark. and i kind of like this and also for the purposes of this video i'm just wearing my normal white converse because oh look you can see my fan um yeah i'm wearing my normal white converse because I'm too hot to keep changing my shoes <laughs> so I'll tell you if I feel like um, a different shoe would be an option anyway let's tell me what do you think sorry this is like not attractive there we go look at my two little squish mallows. Um that's now too low I am disorganized in this weather guys okay here is number one so I've got white little white converse on these are the leather ones I think I got these from the shoe or office I think these are from office <laughs> um, but yeah just plain white converse and yeah this is the skirt in full I love this skirt so it's got an under it's got sort of like a skirt to here of the sort of slip skirt material and it has layers this polka dot tool and I feel very 80s and I really like it but I just need to think of things to wear with it so there is this the denim shirt I've tucked the denim shirt in you could probably tie it up but I've tried before which you might see if I feel confident enough I've tried it once with just like the sleepwear bralette thing on and a denim jacket and I just look it looks too much it just doesn't sit right so um yeah I kind of like it. I feel like this is more sort of spring or transitioning from summer into autumn when we get to that point because it's especially not today it's way too hot for this denim shirt but yeah this is the first one I just love this skirt guys let me know in the comments on what you think of this one I feel like this I've ballooned this up but I don't know whether to tuck that in a bit more 
But I feel like this I can get away with because of the black here. It kind of looks like this fits the dress. Kind of, I don't know. But yeah, I just... Oh. It's this bottom bit, it's so cute. And I thought maybe of cutting it so it sits higher. But I feel like it needs to be midi length or it will look weird. Anyway, I digress. Here is with the denim shirt. Do let me know if you like this one. I am now going to go in this wardrobe and find something else. Excuse at any point you can hear a lawnmower or strimmer going on outside. One of my neighbours has just decided that they're um, mowing their lawn which is really helpful. Um, but I have to have at least a window open because I haven't got the fan on. So. Um, Hopefully you can't hear it. <laughs> anyway, this one is more of a smart casual. I kind of threw this blazer on very last minute when putting this together and I can't decide if I like it or not. I know you guys are very good to me and you tell me if something looks nice or whether to change it or nice constructive criticism. Um, yes, sorry. I am, I can't, I can't do things when it's hot. I'm like struggling. Also, do you like my nails guys? I did my own um, my own nail art first time. I kind of did something fun that I did myself. I love the um, the leopard print. Anyway, um, let's stop waffling. So yeah, I've got on this black nothing to wear to. So I've gone for an all black outfit, and then I've got on this black cropped blazer. Well, it's not quite cropped actually. It comes just mid mid bum length on me. Um, it's a three quarter length sleeve with little gold buttons. This is old from River Island. It has shoulder pads and I'm kind of vibing with this. I've, I've had this blazer for a really long time but I know blazers are kind of really in right now. I kind of feel like it smartens it up but it's still dressed down because I've got trainers on. I kind of feel like maybe I would wear my high top trainers just to make it a bit more casual or keep these ones on. I can't decide which converse to try. I have to try it on with the converse high tops but it's too warm. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of like this. I feel like with a different um, necklace because I think the pink rope on this won't be very nice. Sorry, I had to stop midway through. I've got like fluff in it. Um, talking about this necklace, I don't quite think the pink rope goes too well, but um, some other sort of delicate necklace. Sorry, I stopped just then because I felt like I was going to sneeze and I didn't want to sneeze in your faces. Um, yeah, again, I've tucked this in and I kind of, I kind of like it. I feel like it's a, like a, some, yeah, it's definitely kind of smart casual with the trainers and then some, I don't know, I just have this bag here with some form of bag, probably not this one, although it doesn't look too bad. This is very old from eBay and I'm so sad that the the faux leather is starting to peel off because I don't want to get rid of it because, oh no, like lots of the leather is, oh no, look, lots of it's peeling off. Oh no, that's sad. I love this bag. It's kind of like the style of the Rockstead ones. I love this bag. That's made me sad. Anyway, a bag like that with this, I think would look very cute. Let me know again in the comments if you like this one. Okay, number three I have kept. I think it's number three. I've kept this pretty basic, but I think I think it works. I think it works. I'm trying to not make these all waffling too ooh, too long for you. But I've just got a plain black t-shirt which I have tied in a knot. So I've tucked it up at the back so you can just see a tinsy bit of um, my stomach at the, the most flattering part of my of my tummy. I think. Um, and yeah, I feel like just with that bit, it's just showing enough skin, but not for it to look silly. Like if it was with um, the 
this crop top I just feel like it would probably be just a bit too much whereas this I'm just a tiny bit more covered but again I actually I'm kind of liking this I feel like with um, a denim jacket over the top I need to grab that so I can show you what it looks like but um, yeah I kind of feel like this is kind of okay do let me know in the comments below I'm kind of literally just grabbing stuff from my wardrobe as we go and throwing it on and standing here so it's kind of even a surprise to me on um, what styles go with this skirt but it's kind of it's more kind of the thing of I feel nervous to wear it out like I feel very um, self-conscious to wear it out I don't know why I think it I think because it's so sort of dressy and my style is kind of more casual that I wonder if it's too much but then it's the kind of thing of if you love something wear it don't just save things and wear them for best you know wear the ball gown to on your food shop if you want to feel extra fancy you know that's the kind of mentality I have but I don't always put that towards myself so your comments and support down below are really appreciated to me on which tops and things you like with this skirt so that it gives me more of a boost to be like do you know what they all love it they love this I'm kind of gonna go out and rock it and then I will show you on my outfits Instagram which will be linked below on when I venture out and wear it um hopefully this summer but anyway yeah just a simple black t-shirt and I think it works well, let me know just notice while filming the last bit I had lipstick around my mouth so sorry about that anyway I think this one might be my favorite so far I feel like this is my favorite I feel like this is very much me and she's got her trusty um nasty gal denim jacket back on because I don't stop wearing it but I feel like this is 100% my style so I've got a grey t-shirt this is from H&M it says you can sit with us I've had this a good couple of years now so unfortunately you won't be able to get it anymore but you might find one on Depop we love we love a Depop find the hunt so um yeah it's just like a grey grey sort of marl effect it's got like black specks in it t-shirt from H&M I have tied that up and then the trusty nasty girl denim jacket with the obviously the boohoo skirt and the white converse and I actually think this is really nice I actually feel like I could go out in this today or maybe without the jacket because it is it is so hot it is so hot right now um, but yeah, I feel like I could go out like this and if you took off the jacket, so it's just the t-shirt, yeah, I feel like, I feel confident enough. Now I've seen this styled when it's not as hot <laughs> as it is today. How many times am I going to say that guys? I'm sorry. Like, I feel like I could go out wearing this. I feel like this this one and um the denim shirt that i showed you in the first one i feel like so far those are good contenders as my rule is if i have something in my wardrobe i need to be able to style it with at least three other things big things in my wardrobe otherwise it's kind of pointless me keeping it because i like to make things versatile and swap things around and whatnot let's let's try it on with another t-shirt <laughs> because I like, I kind of like a slogan t-shirt. I don't have many sort of t-shirts kind of thing, but the odd ones I have are um, slogan ones. I kind of like a slogan t-shirt, I don't know why. But I'm gonna try on a neutral one. It's one that I picked up recently in New Look for five pounds in the sale, which is awesome. So I'm gonna try it on with that now and see what the sort of the beigey nude looks like with the back. Okay, this one I am not too keen on. I feel like the colors together kind of don't work oh god my hair's getting bigger <laughs> um they kind of don't work and i feel like they sorry i feel like they kind of wash me out a bit i mean you guys are good to me in the comments so you'll let me know what you guys think um but i just feel like the heaviness of the black with this neutral just doesn't sit right on me i feel like 
the top half needs to have some black in it for me to get away with it. I don't know. I feel, I just feel like it's too like neutral, almost like skin tone kind of colour to harshness and then a completely different colour at the bottom. I don't feel like it kind of blends, blends as well as I thought it would. I mean, this top I now know looks cute with this necklace. Um, but yeah, I see so many people wearing neutral with black and it just looks amazing on them. But I feel like this top needs to be worn with brighter colour things at the bottom rather than just straight up black colour. Yeah, this one is, this one is, I would say so far, at the bottom of my list of choices for this skirt. Here is outfit number 350, I don't know. <laughs> um, I kind of like this. I feel like this is the 50-50 on whether I fully like it or not. Do let me know. Um, but I have put on this pink um, cropped vest top this is from new look i picked this up last year i'm not too sure if they still do it but they always do versions of this kind of basic style top and i've paired it with this dusky rosy pink faux suede biker jacket from river island this i've had for a good few years but they always do um some form of faux suede biker jacket and i have i have a khaki green one and I also have a sort of a beigey grey one that's got fur, detachable fur that comes all the way around. And I absolutely love them. But I, yeah, I paired this kind of together because I feel like this and this kind of reminds me a bit of um, Carrie Bradshaw from Sex and the City. I think it's where she's got a, um, it's like a long pink tooled skirt and a white vest top or the other way around, I can't remember. Um, but I feel like that is kind of this vibe, but obviously with black and just adding the darker pink toned biker jacket. I think it kind of just dulls this down and then lifts this slightly. I feel like again with maybe my high tops just to dress it um, down a bit. It might make it look a bit more 80s, but yeah, I actually kind of like this. I feel like um, with wearing tops like this, we know the drill, I don't like the tops of my arms, so it would be a case of it not being a warm day so I could wear the biker jacket the whole time, maybe if I'm going shopping or sitting outside for lunch or something like that on a cooler day. But I'm liking it guys, I am very surprised. I am very surprised by this video and how it's turning out. I really thought in my head that there is literally nothing that I can style this skirt with. And now I'm doing this video for you and asking for your opinion and your help. I'm suddenly finding a good few things to wear with this skirt. Like, I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. That's why I always kind of, every so often, pull something out of my um, wardrobe that I'm a bit unsure of and try and style it with things. Obviously, I don't always film them, but I do kind of spend an afternoon or something over a weekend and just try out outfits, maybe take a photo of it and then see what it looks like. And yeah, I enjoy styling. I'm trying to take this off. Um, I enjoy styling and putting outfits together and planning them and then thinking in my head, right, I've got to go here or I need to do this. I can wear this outfit because I've already kind of in my head put it together or taken a photo of it and saved it on my um, camera roll. But yeah, I'm kind of liking all these colors together. I think I'm gonna try one more. I will try on one more um, top jacket combo with this skirt to finish it off. And then there's more than enough there for me to flick through for more outfit ideas for myself in the future. And also for your lovely guys' opinion on what I should wear the skirt with. <laughs> to conclude, she has ended it wearing her trusty denim jacket. So, um, yeah, I think this is outfit six or seven. I think I've done six or seven um, in total. Do let me know how many I did. Um, here it is. So I've gone for this khaki green. Ignore the bralette situation. It's actually a um, bikini top from H&M. I just kind of put that on under the 
neutral stuff because it's too warm to wear underwiring bra today so um ignore this line but i have got on this khaki green cropped vest top this i got last year from h&m but they do do basics like this all the time so do check out their website i think it was less than a five when i bought it so um yeah do have a browse on their website again i've paired it with my trusty nasty gal denim jacket and again she's got on the white converse but i think i might try um a different pair of white trainers maybe i've got my um mini mouse ones here just to add a little bit of colour. I think maybe these ones would work with the last outfit I showed you with the pink just to add, because it's got the black and then the bit of pink just to make it a bit more fun. But again, I kind of like this. I tend to wear my denim jacket most of the time when I go out if I've got some sort of um, vest top strappy dress kind of thing on. But again, I feel like this kind of dresses the skirt down i always i think as i said earlier on i always feel like this is a bit costumey like i'm going to an 80s party but i feel when i put these outfits on i've made it look less sort of fancy dress style and kind of made it a bit more my style which really does surprise me it's really surprised me so i feel like i can maybe wear it out and I kind of feel like it's a thing of if you love it and you feel confident in it, you will go outside, rock that world and look amazing in it. And there'll be people out there that will be like, oh my God, I love what she's wearing because you just own it. You're just like, yeah, this is my skirt. This is what I'm wearing. doesn't matter on your opinion. But for this video purposes, it matters on your opinion because <laughs> I need help deciding how to style it. Um, but I will end this video here because I have rambled on long enough as always and it is super hot so I need to get out of these heavy fabric clothes because whew, I think it's about 23 degrees today. I feel like by the end of the day it just gets hotter and hotter and hotter and my windows are here and the sun rises there so for the majority of the day to about like one o'clock the sun is just like beaming in and it just gets like a sauna in here it's absolutely horrendous and we all know how heavily insulated our uk houses are to keep the heat in when it's cold and wintry most of the time so when it's like this it just like just holds on to that heat just a bit too much <laughs> um yes i will end this video here i think there's a good mix of outfits for you guys to choose from i think there was about six or seven don't quote me on that because I can't count and I gave up counting after outfit number three. <laughs> so let me know what you think, leave comments down below, come say hi, rate me on them, rate me on whether you think I should even keep this skirt, if you think it's flattering on me. Give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys, if you guys kind of enjoy these styling videos, leave me a message down below if you want to see me um, style something else in my wardrobe and try and find different ways to um wear it whether it be another midi skirt one or a dress or a pair of jeans that kind of thing for us mid-sized girls i think it's good to have different outfit ideas all the time because yeah i just i just think it is i just i'm just obsessed with outfits and styling and shopping and clothes that is just me and who I am, I think I kind of was raised to be like that because my mum always is very stylish. My mum was always very stylish growing up. She was always getting dressed, she always put her makeup on. She's a very glamorous woman, my mother, so I think I kind of inherited it from her. So I now get to share it with you guys if you enjoy this kind of content. And I don't think I've got anything else to say, so... As I always say, thanks so much for watching, thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Come follow me on my Instagrams, Twitter, not that I really have anything to say on there, surprisingly. <laughs> um, TikTok, I'm trying to be more confident with TikTok. I don't know why, I kind of feel it's easier on here to do videos for you than on TikTok, but do give me a follow and a check out on there. 
and again as I mentioned in previous videos come check out my Depop I do have some lovely stuff on there that needs to go to good homes it's stuff that either is too big for me or too small for me or just doesn't work with my style so much anymore and I would just love for them to go to some lovely new homes where people can just add things to their style or find something different to how they normally would or anything like that and just let the clothes live on and live on and live on because as you know from one of my last videos I, I enjoy going into charity shops and finding something vintage and different as opposed to all the fast fashion and current stuff that's out now and also a lot is in my wardrobe through the last sort of years or like good couple of years or more um but i just love the idea of you have something and you've worn it for however long it's got stories of its own and then goes on to someone else and then they have stories anyway i digress i'm rambling and i digress about that but links to everything down below thumbs up or even a thumbs down if you didn't enjoy it then put a thumbs down it doesn't bother me it go it shows me whether it's an interesting um video for you guys or not and she says and one too many times thank you so much for watching guys take care enjoy the sunshine while we can because we know this british weather is very hit and miss and i'll see you in the next one take care bye